I greet you in the name of the Far God. Know that our galaxy lies in the shadow of this omniscient and most holy being. What the ignorant refer to as Thargoids are, in truth, the heralds of the Far God, preparing us for its manifestation. On that day, humanity will be destroyed. But we, who have heeded the truth, will ascend and be transformed. In the sacred void temple, we willingly entomb ourselves to preserve our souls until the far god comes. I have instructed my fellow adherents to record their last words as they prepare for the crypts in the hope that others may be inspired to join us. I wasted many years on false religions and hollow human faith. Now, I worship something real, something powerful. The far god calls to me in my dreams. It is coming. I'm ready. I've been ready for a long time, actually. But the fasting and the trials have left me feeling lighter, purer. I was glad to come here. Most of my chapter is gone. They, they burned our hive chapel to the ground. Everyone I knew died. I'm not afraid of death, because I know it isn't the end. When the far god comes, we will experience a glorious rebirth that will elevate us to a higher plane. But for so many of my friends to have suffered at the hands of the ignorant and fearful, well, it sickens me. So much pain. I've had enough of pain. I'm ready for my reward. I'm ready for the peace the far god will bring. I don't know where I am. I thought we were going to the Ice Chapel. But instead, with me, is it time? Is the Far God coming? They gave me something for the pain. <laughs> injections. Man, I've had a lifetime of injections. First it was fun. Then it was necessary. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Even if there's nothing afterwards, nothing means no more injections. Couldn't be worse than what I've been through. Anything's better than being me. Things have progressed. We're now at the stage where we can enter suspended animation. It's a shame in a way, as I wanted to be conscious to witness the Far God's arrival. But our Herald assures me that the automatic system will wake us up as soon as it manifests. <laughs> oh, I'm curious to know what will happen. Will we keep our human bodies? Or will we be given new forms so we can function in the Far God's dimension? I sometimes wondered if the flower ships might once have been human. Maybe people from escape pods taken by the Thargoids. If so, it's a remarkable transformation. No need for crude starships anymore. We'll be able to soar through space ourselves. <laughs> well, no matter what happens, it's thrilling to know that we'll be the ones to experience the next stage of evolution. 
We the future of the human race. I'm scared. Really scared. I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I might have made a mistake. On the streets, things were bad, but then the monks found me and helped me. I didn't ask any questions. I guess I wanted to be saved. And they did save me, in a way, but... I've been thinking about my dad. I know he was worried about me living rough, but I pushed him away. And now the monks are saying we need to go to sleep. I don't understand what's happening. But they all seem so happy, so I guess it can't be bad. I hope my dad hears this and comes to get me. I want to go home. This will be awesome. I'm going to see the Thargoids destroy everyone. Literally, everyone. Ever since I was a kid, I've been fascinated by the Thargoids. I used to dream about them coming back. Then one day they were on Galnet, blowing up starports, gunning down ships. Nothing could stop them. They must have heard me praying that they'd come back. I don't care about the Far God. I just wanted to get close to the Thargoids. And these cultists seem like the best bet. This is going to be the biggest massacre in history. An actual galactic apocalypse. And I'll have a front row seat. This is for my husband, my sister, and my colleagues. I hope this message reaches you. There's something I want you to know. You're going to die. And I can't wait. My cruel, smug husband. My selfish sister. My hypocritical co-workers. The people who hurt me. Belittled me. Ruined my life. Your monsters. All of you. But don't worry about me. As if you ever did. I'll be looking down on you from witch space, laughing as you burn, especially you, Arlo. <laughs> you won't be so smug when the far god is eating your soul. There's one thing I want to make clear, okay? We deserve this. The, the, the whole human race. We brought this on ourselves. We deserve to be destroyed. You know, we talk about our achievements, how we've colonized to the stars, but, but the only thing we do is spread ruin. So many worlds tainted with, with pollution or, or terraformed for our selfish needs. The galaxy is a living organism. And we're spreading through it like a cancer, destroying everything we touch. The only god worthy of devotion is one that will neutralize the human infection. I, I, I don't care if the far god is literally real, as long as humanity is extinguished. It's time to balance the scales and let nature continue without us. <laughs> My name is Nathan Summers, and I'm an agent with the Federal Intelligence Agency IDENT 4989 Kappa Theta. I've been on a deep cover assignment for three weeks, pretending to be part of this cult. I was looking for evidence that they were communicating with the Thargoids or acting as their spies. At this point, I'm pretty sure they're not. But I am sure of one thing. They're insane. They really do believe some kind of alien god is going to come out of hyperspace and, I don't know, save them or something. I've kept my cover, despite being hauled off to this remote outpost, but I've lost contact with the FIA, and these guys are about to put everyone into suspended animation. If anyone receives this message, this is Agent Summers requesting immediate extraction. Get me the hell out of here. <laughs> 